Hello, Veteran 2 here. Welcome back, and this is another episode of Final Fantasy VI. In this episode, we're going to be betting the Excalibur here in the Coliseum. I want Terra to have Golem to use in battle. I want Locke to keep working on Raiden. I want Strago to learn the spells from Valagamanda. <clears throat> and I want Shadow to use Fenrir in this next battle. So, as far as the equipment, that stuff I got on Terra, her best stuff. Got a Zephyr Cloak on there for a little extra magic evasion, which should hopefully help out. That's stuff I got for Locke. Got the Sniper Eye for 100% hit rate, because that should come in handy with the equipment he has. Standard stuff there for Strago, Ribbon and Earring. And standard stuff for Shadow there, Ribbon with uh, Instant Death Protection, although I don't think Instant Death will really be needed. But it's there, you know, just for a little extra. Something, something. Alright, so what we want to do is we want to bet that, ex that crappy Excalibur weapon. And we get to fight an Onion Dasher for a mystery award, but it's actually a merit award, just like before when we had a mystery item. And we're just gonna kill it instantly. Alright, that works. Hey, that's quite a rare sword you've got there. I think I'll take that sword for my own! And it's too bad they don't actually use Gilgamesh boss music here, because that would be awesome if they did that. And yeah, he can use Discord, which is a pain in the ass, but you know what? Uh, I was thinking about stealing a Genji Glove from this guy, but it's really hard because he's level 97 and my levels aren't that high yet. And yeah, it's going to take forever if I try that, so I'm not even going to bother. Oh yeah, maybe I should actually use those uh, Espers I was planning on using. Yeah, Grand Delta is a good option because it ignores defense. Yeah, I want to use Fenrir because that will put images on the party. Yeah, this guy has about 38,000 HP, I believe. So it's not too bad. If there was ever a time to use Ultima, this is the time. And shit, you know, I should be trancing Terra. Protect is not gonna help you, buddy. You don't care about protect. Shit, maybe I don't need... <laughs> maybe I don't freaking need, uh... What is it? Trance with Terra. I think this is going to end up getting him. Hmm. Appears I misjudged your strength. And he's dead. Alright, and for beating him, we get a Genji Helm. I shall lend you my strength. And look at that. We get another Magisite. We get the Gilgamesh Magisite. This one's pretty good, too. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, it teaches you the quick spell, like the Raiden Esper, and it also teaches you a new spell to the advanced and mobile versions of the game, Valor. And I believe what Valor does is when you use it on the character, like he'll cast it on himself, and then the next physical attack they do will deal double damage. So it's pretty good. Not bad. And uh, you can summon Gilgamesh and it'll do like an attack. And the best thing about this Esper is it's another Esper that has an at level up bonus of strength plus two. So now I have plenty of Espers to uh, get strength plus two, so less switching, so less annoying. Less annoying switching and having to worry about, okay, how much experience do they have? And uh, should I switch this over? 
before the next battle. You know, you know that kind of stuff. The esper switching. It's annoying in this game. But yeah, now they have a bunch of espers with strength plus two and magic plus two. There's less worry and less fuss uh, with getting esper bonuses. All right, gonna be taking on another optional esper here. This is the party I have. I got Cyan with his imp equipment. Got Gilgamesh on lock, so we can start working on Valor along with Quick. And I got Terra with Valgamanda, so she can start learning uh, Bozaga and Thundaga. And with Shadow, I got him on Raiden, so he can also learn Quick. Not that I'm really gonna be physically attacking ever with this character, but. Whatever. Being able to throw two shurikens is, is better than being able to throw one in one turn, if you know what I mean. Not too long ago, I was out sailing. I saw a huge shadow pass by beneath the water. Alright, so yeah, we get a clue from that guy that um, we're actually supposed to go sailing. And that there's something out there. I think I already talked to him, but I just talked to him again there just to make sure that I talked to him. So yeah, let's go ahead and hop aboard. Let's see what happens. all fell off the ship. But yeah, now we're gonna take on Leviathan. This guy likes to do a lot of water attacks. And luckily uh, for Cyan, he has imp equipment to nullify that stuff. Apparently I can't nullify that stuff with Shadow. Hmm. Oh well. Do we steal from this guy? Entangle, huh? Has no items. Okay, well I don't give a shit. Ultimate is... Oh yeah. That might actually kill Shadow. Yep, it does. That's all right. Yeah, as long as most of your characters have, have water protection, you're good. Nothing to worry about. I don't like how he used two in a row there. That was kind of bullshit. Yeah. Goodbye, Leviathan. What, no magic points? So we get some magic points for that battle. But I guess not. Oh well, at least we get some magic sight. Alright, so let's check it out. I'm not, I don't think I'm that big of a fan of this Asper. Yeah, you can use Tidal Wave like um, like you'd think if you use the Asper in battle. And yeah, one of these day, one of these episodes, I'm actually gonna show off all the Asper attacks, like all of them. You know, just to show them off, because I don't, I haven't been showing them off this entire game. But uh, anyways, I digress. Uh, you can learn Flood at times 2, which is an okay water spell, and at level up you get a Stamina plus 2 bonus, which, well, to be quite honest with you, is worthless. Stamina is worthless in this game. Do not bother raising Stamina. So there you go. Alright, there's one more optional Esper we can fight at this point, and this is, the, in my opinion, the hardest one out of all of them. Alright, just let me begin by saying I hate this next boss. I hate him. He is a bastard. 
Do you know what a cat tower is? Yeah, I do. A huge one attacked you, huh? Yeah, I already talked to that guy before, but I talked to him again just to make sure. But yeah, let's go ahead and go out here to the desert and try and find one of these little cat towers. Alright, so here's a cat tower. I'm just bundling something up, but I don't really care because I'm just going to use a valiant knife and kill him like that. Yeah, you get 10 AP for killing one of those guys, which is a lot. And a lot of gills, so yeah, 10,000 gills. So if you have Mog in your part, not Mog, but Realm in your party, uh, you can get double gill with Cat Ear Hood. So basically, what you need to do is you need to keep killing those guys until you kill like 10 or more, and then randomly the Gigant Tower will appear, which is actually a boss battle. So I'm gonna go ahead and off screen killing Cat Towers until I run into the uh, Gigant Tower. Alright, this is the boss battle against the Gigantower. This guy is a bastard, to say the least. No, I don't want Quetzali. Who do I want here? Golem, that's the one I want. Definitely want Golem. I don't even have an Esper on you. That's fine. Don't kill him. Fucking asshole. Yeah, this guy likes to spam a thousand needles like crazy. He's a bastard. I hate this guy. I hate this boss. This is the worst boss in the entire game, in my opinion. Yeah, he's just a cheap ass. He'll just spam 1,000 needles like it's going out of style. And the only way to combat that is to use re-raise a lot. Going to be using re-raise a lot. And Mega Elixirs. Fuck. Damn this piece of shit. I hate this guy. I fucking hate this guy. I hate him. Stop spamming 1,000 needles. Just stop. Alright? Fucking bullshit, man. It's fucking horseshit. This guy is too fast. I can't fucking. Urgh. Can't do this, man. God, you're not doing anything. You need to start dealing damage to this fucking guy. Did they make this guy harder? I mean, because it seems like he spams 1,000 needles like three times every turn. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, that's what I want to see. I want to see freaking magic damage done to this guy. Oh man, I hate this boss. I hate this guy. I freaking hate him. Ape shit now. Can we survive? Yeah! Eat it, Gigant Tower! Yeah, his uh, final attack is using 1,000 needles 10 times. So if you can survive that, you can beat this guy. So yeah, re raise. Also, you can use the Quadzali. Uh, Magisite to um, go up in the air, that way you miss the 1,000 needles. I didn't actually do it that time. I did that in my original Final Fantasy VI LP, but this time I decided to make use of re-raise. So there you go. Let's take a look at the Gigantal Resper. It's pretty good. Or Cag Tower. Yeah, level up speed plus two. Teaches Hastaga at times five, which is pretty good. And uh, yeah, you can you can use it to use 1,000 needles. I've never actually tried using this one before. It might be good. I don't know. But yeah, the best thing about this Hesper at level up speed plus two. So there you go. That is all the well three out of the four optional Hespers that we can get. We won't be able to get uh, the last one for quite a while yet, but. There you go. That's all for this episode of Final Fantasy VI. In the next episode, I think we're actually going to end up going back to Doma. Because there is a side quest we can do there. This is Veteran0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.